Hi, I've got a question for you today. Who is answering your prayers? Where is Jesus now? So that we can know where to pray to him. To answer that, we need to look at the earthly sanctuary. Christ on the cross was the end of the earthly sanctuary service and the beginning of the heavenly sanctuary service. Forty days after his resurrection, Jesus ascended to heaven. Paul tells us in Hebrews 4, 14 and 16, seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Ella White and Vision said, I saw the white light of the Father rise from the throne and in a flaming chariot go into the Holy of Holies within the veil and sit down. Then Jesus rose up from the throne and the most of those who were bowed down arose with him. I did not see one ray of light pass from Jesus to the careless multitude after he arose. They were left in perfect darkness. Those who arose when Jesus did kept their eyes fixed on him as he left the throne and led them out a little way. Then he raised his right arm and we heard his lovely voice saying, Wait here, I'm going to my father to receive the kingdom. Keep your garments spotless, and a little while I will return from the wedding and receive you to myself. Then a cloudy chariot with wheels like flaming fire, surrounded by angels, came to where Jesus was. He stepped into the chariot and was borne to the holiest, where the Father sat. There I beheld Jesus, a great high priest, standing before the Father. Those who rose up with Jesus would send up their faith to him in the holiest and pray, My Father. Give us thy spirit. Then Jesus would breathe upon them the Holy Ghost. In that breath was light, power, and much love, joy, and peace. I turned to look at the company who were still bowed before the throne. They did not know that Jesus had left it. Satan appeared to be by the throne, trying to carry on the work of God. I saw them look up to the throne and pray, Father, give us thy spirit. Satan would then breathe upon them an unholy influence. In it there was light and much power, but no sweet love, joy and peace. Satan's object was to keep them deceived and to draw back and deceive God's children. So who is answering your prayers? Well, that'll depend on where you are directing your prayers by faith. And the answers. Oh, God bless you, friend.